Hey everybody, it's Kathy Boyle. I'm president of Chapin Hill Advisors. My firm offers succession planning and estate and financial planning to a wide variety of individuals. A lot of them are family owned businesses. So I love entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, when we go in and work with them, they need all kinds of services. It can be on the traditional side with accounting and estate planning and valuation and everything related to sort of what we call the hard side of what we do. But because I have such a big circle and I'm a connector, people will also come to me for photographers, artists, uh, organizers, estate sale people, et cetera, et cetera. So we have a huge circle. Now, when you need an expert, finding that expert can be very challenging. It's not always the person your friend used. They might have been right for them, and they might have had a personality that clicked with them, but not right for you and your services. And it's difficult to determine in advance, especially if you're in a hurry because you need something now. So what we decided to do was formalize our circle of experts and put, build a circle of influence. Circle of Influence is a dedicated um, circle of people that we trust. We've either used them ourselves or we know people who have used them and we trust their expertise. And this is an easy way for you to find the expert you need. So today, I wanted to introduce you to one of our members of our Circle of Influence, Susan Farley, who's a very talented photographer and happens to do a lot of my events. So I've gotten to know her well over the last couple of years. So Susan, let's start with the proverbial headshot. What goes into making a good headshot? Yes, well, headshots are very important because it is a way of showing somebody who doesn't know you who you are the best you can in one small shot. And this is done by relationship with the photographer, bringing out the best in your personality and proper lighting that you look your very best and the most professional because of a photo that's not properly lit will look unprofessional, therefore will make you look unprofessional, which you don't want. You want to look professional, you want to look kind, you want to look easy to work with. Got it. So let's talk about that lighting for a second. So you guys come in with all kinds of little, the umbrellas yeah. is what they look like to me, <laughs> and, uh, and different yeah. types of lights. So setting up the lighting becomes part of the shot, correct? Yes. Um, when I work with either individual or when I work with more than one person, I usually do bring a lighting assistant. And we bring soft boxes and we bring umbrellas. I have two different sets of lights, portable studio lights. I can go to you, to your office, to wherever you want. And I, I light each person slightly differently according to their coloring, their hair color, what they're wearing, and their position, their height, et cetera. Got it. Okay, and let's go for women especially, um, makeup and hair. How important is it to have that done professionally? I think it's very important because it also, it gives the, the subject, the person, much more confidence also. That alone is worth it. Mm -hmm. um, it just it really, really, it helps to create that headshot into a very special moment, which is what you want. I mean, you don't get a headshot every week, for example, you know, you get a headshot maybe once a year tops, maybe once every other year, once every three years. So you want it to be very special and you want to look your very best. You want your features to stand out. And also with hair, you will probably want to make an appointment with your hair person the day before that morning. Got it. So let's talk about that. So one way to do it is go to your own expert, your own hair salon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then another is to actually bring someone in. Yes, yes, I can also bring somebody in. And when it's just one person, it becomes expensive to hire, you know, to bring people in. But some people feel it's worth it. They feel the comfort. Mm -hmm. If it's several people being shot the same day, of course, the price goes down. Per person. So it can be done. And there are excellent people, and excellent have... artists, stylists, and makeup artists that will come in. Got it. So do you have a stylist who will do both hair and makeup? I know some only do hair and some only do makeup. Well, yes, I basically, I mean, there are definitely people that do both, but I, I believe it's better to have an expert Got it. in hair and expert in makeup. Okay. So another facet of your business is you have a big range of celebrity photographs on your yes. website. So give us a little bit of insight on that. Tell us, a, a, you know, either your most challenging shot or some funny story. Well, okay, I photographed so many who I, ver I enjoyed meeting, but I have, I have a challenging story. Um, I, I used to be a newspaper staff photographer and then freelance for newspapers and magazines. And 
I was given a call by a large newspaper in another city. And they said, can you photograph Billy Joel out in Sag Harbor? And I'm like, yeah, I'm really excited. And they said, but we want to tell you the story. They had, they had flown in their own photographer and the photographer had gone to the door of Billy Joel's um, apartment, I guess, knocked on the door. Billy Joel came with sunglasses on and a hat and said, this is your chance to get a photo, get it now or never. And then closed the door and that was it. Oh so <laughs> I was driving to Sag Harbor thinking, is this going to happen to me? Hope not. But I was very, very excited. So when I got there, Billy Joel was in a great mood. <laughs> I was so lucky. Yeah, he was having a wonderful lunch with a reporter. He invited me to his apartment. I set up lights. We got fantastic shots. And it was, you know, like I was pinching wow. myself saying, yay, I'm getting paid for this. What? It was wonderful. That's great. Uh, That's yes, amazing. thank you. So now let's talk about events real quick. Um, yeah. You also do events. And what goes into making a great event um, end result in terms of photographs? What do people want to see? Well, bottom line is storytelling. You want to tell the story of the people at the event and the story of the mission of the event, whether it's nonprofit or for business, you want to make sure that that event's going to stand out. So it's not just another, you know, photo with somebody holding a drink. It, it. The challenge is to tell the story, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is what makes it fun for me. <laughs> Got it. So um, out of the three different areas, which do you love the most? What, what really, you know, gets your mo mojo going? I love taking a great portrait of somebody in particular um, and lifestyle photo. And a lifestyle photo is, is a photo of a person, but it might be them with their dog. It might be them, you know, in their office working, you know, with a coworker. Tell us a story. I love storytelling, whether it's with somebody's face or somebody's life got it got it so if somebody wanted to find you you're in new york city correct yes i am so what is your website and how would people get you i my website is susanfarley.com and i do work in this but i work in the greater new york tri-state area i do have a car uh -huh. um i do travel i have portable lights and um but very much please I'd love to have you come visit susanfarley.com so you can see my range of work and also know that if there's something that you're looking for that I do not have on my website, please ask because I probably do have it in my archives. Got it. Okay, wonderful. So that's Susan, S-U-S-A-N, Farley, F-A-R-L-E-Y.com. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Susan. It was great to interview today and have a, I'm so happy to have you in the circle of influence. Thank you.